Hey, this is Matt from Alpha Analyst, and in this video, we're going to go over how to use the autofill feature in Microsoft Excel to save yourself a lot of time. As you start entering in data, you could do it all manually, but that could take a lot of time, and I'm sure you have some better things to do. So if you use autofill, as you're creating your workbook, you'll be able to save a lot of time because Excel can kind of figure out what you're doing in your workbook so that you don't have to manually type in the data over and over and over again. All right, let's get started. If you take a look at this data on the top left, you'll see that it says one and then two. And as a human, you can probably figure out that the difference between those two is one. So if you were to continue the pattern, what do you think the third number would be? So one, two, so each one went up by one. And if you want it to be more complicated, you could discuss other factors. You could say, oh, it goes, it gets doubled, so the next one should be four. But let's not get too complicated here. So if you simplify it, the values here go up by one each time. So if you highlight those two cells, if you highlight the one and the two, you'll see that they're highlighted and there's a little green box that pops up at the bottom. If you put your mouse cursor over it, you'll see that it will change from a, a white plus sign to a black plus sign. And I'm not talking about this. I'm not talking about the one that has the uh, unusual type of errors. I'm, arrows. I'm talking about the one that's the, uh, this one right here, the kind of thin black plus sign. So if you put your cursor towards the bottom right part of that section over that little green box, you can drag, that's called the handle. You can drag the handle down and Microsoft Excel will actually figure out what we're trying to do here. So Excel was able to figure out that the pattern was one, two, three, four, five, all the way up to 12. Over here, you can see there's a similar type of pattern. However, instead of going up by one, it's going up by two. So to do the similar type of analysis, you can highlight those two cells and you'll see this green fill handle show up. And if you put your cursor over it, that little black plus icon that shows up. So you can click on that and you can drag it down. And you'll see that, that Microsoft Excel was able to figure out the pattern, two, four, six, eight, ten. 10. There's also a quicker way to do it. So after you highlight the two and the four, instead of having to click on that handle and drag it down, another option is to simply double click on it. So after you highlight the two and the four, if you double click on that, automatically Excel will bring that down. So for that to happen, Excel has to know how far to go down. So here, it probably has a good idea that, okay, you brought this down to row 15. So when you highlight those, Excel knows to go down to row 15. However, if we did that for this one, if you double click, nothing is going to happen because Excel doesn't know how far you want it to go down. So if we bring it down here, now Excel knows that we want to go down to row 16. So if you highlight those two and double click, you'll see that Excel knows to go down to row 16. So it doesn't just do this with numbers. It also does it with various other things. For example, this is the last date in the month of January 2017. This is the last date in the month of February 2017. So if you highlight those, you can see that Excel was able to figure out that what we were looking at were month ends. It does the same thing with months. So January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August. So you can do it with months. You can do it with days of the week, you know, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. So Excel is able to figure this out uh, all on its own. So as you're entering data, uh, feel free to use this autofill feature, which makes it much easier to enter in your data. But while we're talking about entering in data, let's also talk about how to do some edits to, to formulas. So there's a separate video that will cover formulas, but for now, I just want to talk about this formula toolbar. So in this cell here, we have a formula that's rather extensive. So if you look up top here, you'll see that it says one plus two plus three plus four plus five. It's a very long formula. So let's say that we wanted to make an adjustment to that formula. If you come down here, you can double click and you can make an adjustment to the formula by you know, typing in some numbers here. However, it could be difficult to get your head around that because the formula is so long. So instead of having to enter data into these actual cells, it's often a good idea to take a look at this formula bar if it's a long formula. So you can see that the formula is so long that it doesn't even really fit into the uh, formula bar. So what we can do is we can make the formula bar bigger so we can see more of it. And the way that we can do that is to put the mouse cursor right below the formula bar and you'll see these white arrows show up. So there's an arrow pointing up and an arrow pointing down. So once that shows up, 
you can click on that and you can drag it down and you can make it as big as you want. So now that we did that, when you click on the formula, you can see the entire formula as compared to just part of it. So I hope you found this video to be useful and thank you for watching.